Oh, I was thinking I was, uh, should uh, show you a new game. It's called Party Hard Tycoon, and uh, some of your uh, Swedish followers have, have seen uh, the short review I made on the basic game Party Hard, where you are some kind of maniac uh, that wants to do revenge on your uh, company at the Christmas party, and, uh, and you do that by going in on the party and destroying. Uh, the, um, the drug dealers and their their success on the party. Uh, that was a quite neat game, and now I'm going to try this tycoon game uh, where you actually make the parties. So let's uh, take a new game and see what we have. Hello. Uh, it always starts with this uh, introduction. Um, which is quite neat actually. First time I didn't even understand it was it was a tutorial. So you have, you have the chance to answer some basic questions and then you, you get some text uh, introduction. But I'm gonna skip that now and go right on the basic. I have two different places I can uh, arrange a party at. Uh, I can do it out in the in the suburbs in a really uh, dirty place on a backyard somewhere. I guess this suits best for motorcycle parties and stuff. And then I can rent an apartment for a thousand dollars. I think I would do that uh, because I want to have a classy party. Or pretty classy. Uh, and that means I'm gonna do a gaming party first. We all know they don't drink so much so what we need is probably uh, someone uh, who throws people in, uh, who gives people a show, and some a cop that keeps things under control. And I just spent almost five thousand on this. Then I need to set an entrance fee, and I haven't actually got a clue what this is about because. Uh, the higher fee it gets, the more people seems to be attracted to the party, which is very strange. And here seems to be some kind of limit. Here's 50 persons visitors, and I will take $100 entrance. So I'll go for that. Then in the apartment, I have this value of my my energy, which means if I if I put out a big speaker here. Let's say in the middle of the party. Okay, here because most people come in here. Uh, this uh, energy meter gets down to 32. Uh, maximum was 40, I think. So my only problem now will be the will be the money, I think. Then I can put out some furniture. So now another question is what I want to do with my my party. If I want to have a barbecue in indoors, maybe and I might like a beer barrel or a simple bar, maybe. I'll put the bar here, the barbecue there, and then uh, the music here. And now I have 2000. That's not enough to start a party, so I'm going to sell some stuff. Maybe I have to sell. This one, 7,000. Okay, let's start a party. So now people arrive and I have my personnel. So let's uh, do a show. They don't like the face. I have to dance for them. And they pay entrance. I entertain people in the line so they are more eager to get in. And then I get I had this guy who, who uh, take money in the in the bar. He also if I if I would have put out some uh, some uh, tables uh, that people can eat at, he would have picked the tables too. And I just started to dance in the entrance. I'm not sure that was so smart. But I'm also hindering people from walking, so maybe that's good anyway. I 
I should have gone down there and, and lured them in. And this party will be a disaster, I guess. And almost no thumbs up. Yeah, a couple of. 230 th thumbs up here. So... That was my first party and now I get the value. I made a profit of 1600. That's not especially much. And 50, 54 people were there, uh, 34 of these were thrilled and 24 was disappointed. That's actually much better than I expected so I'm pretty satisfied. Economically though, not so good. Uh, since I had this apartment in, in the center rented, I'm going to go for more classy parties in the future, so I put uh, I, I choose the vodka bottle instead of the biker party, which I would have had if I uh, rent the venue in, in the suburb, the trashy one. Uh, and I also want to be able to have a drum and bass party. I can have a hip hop party, okay. Rap party. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do my second party. And this means I, I now have uh, the same place. The same, uh, since I didn't unlock any new staff, I'm gonna keep with the old ones. Again, check the the number of people that are going to arrive with the entrance fee 98 so I'm continuing on the same as you see I, I can keep my old equipment so all I have to do now is to get another one or maybe something else maybe I had the bar I had the barbecue uh, so let's um, rent a horse I guess what should that one be? Here. So they meet it when they come. And also a big speaker, maybe. Uh, if I can... I, I don't think I can use that one, so I, I put some smaller ones. Like that. Okay, 5000, let's go. And with this vodka party, I guess I will have much more problem with people arguing and fighting outside. Lots of people arriving, so let's go entertain them in the line, yeah. And police have to go there to check it out, and the, the guy selling booze that does do his work too. like they're satisfied in the line. It's too expensive here, okay, I guess. I totally forgot I had the barbecue too, so... Party sucks, I think. It's too expensive. What the, do they mean? Can I lower the prices? Nope. The 
and this meter on the entertainment uh, entertainers are really going down too slow I think so people ha uh, get to leave before I can entertain them Okay, I got some more money this time, but I still think the party sucked. Invited 72, enjoyed 26, and disappointed 46. Yeah, I'm not really surprised. Okay, I get some new locations. New locations I can use to throw parties at. I'm gonna take a sheep one because uh, I believe in sheep and a new MC. That invites visitors to the show and gives some likes, okay? So, the country house. I'm gonna stick with this one because I have equipment here. And throw a hip hop party with uh, this new MC, okay? This entertainer and this entertainer. I'm gonna skip the security. Uh, also, I want some people. 36 is maximum. And equipment. I have no money, so I'm gonna skip more equipment. Hello! And again, I'm gonna dance in the entrance. And when people arrive in, they're gonna have a show too. And I'm on fire! are leaving thank you for nothing sheep motherfuckers they're not complaining this time at all it's good uh, you go down and entertain maybe they come in again seems like they like it and they go back in thank you and there's some action too I think this party is much better than the last one. And you can throw people in. Hello! And the lights are running in. They're flowing. Okay, this is a good party. Everybody can see this is a good party. Actually, pretend to know what I'm doing. It's a little bit chaotic here, uh, but it's on me. Yeah, party! It's a little bit too fast for my taste, to be honest. Uh, I get a little bit stressed up, and I don't like that. So. That should be good. Thrilled, 37. So more people were thrilled than disappointed. That's always something. And especially the profit was uh, really nice. 10,000 plus. And that should probably conclude this game because now I played it a while. Uh, I played DS3 too. And um, this is pretty much everything that seems to happen in this game. You can aggressively through parties and uh, put themes. Uh, I didn't really get the, the chance to show you the, the fun uh, themes in, in the game because uh, you can really see that these Eastern Europeans that made this game has uh, a special kind of humor that uh, we're not used to in the Western Europe or US. Uh, I guess you have to see that for yourself. It's an aggressively, it's an aggressive way to to throw parties at. Uh, a little bit too chaotic for my taste, but uh, it's a neat game in the same style as the party hard game. 
and if you like the simple games I definitely think you should look at it and uh, if you don't like tycoons at all don't worry because uh, it's much uh, more uh, aggressive and uh, spot on than ordinary tycoons not so much um, finesse as uh, a, a tycoon should be in my point of view but still fun and as you see it's an early access so you might uh, find some uh, some new things uh, the more you play and the longer time this game is under development so uh, thank you for me take care guys